Hi, in this really quick tutorial, I will show you how to map MIDI devices with Ableton Live 7. Specifically, I'm going to be using the Korg Nano series. So, first of all, before you open Ableton, you need to plug your MIDI devices to your USB port. Now you have Ableton open, you need to go to options preferences and in the MIDI sync you will see the control surface the input and the output in the input part you have to choose your devices in this case is nano key the nano pad and the nano control and here in this part you have to turn on the remote setting for the three devices okay now you close now we'll see if the if Ableton is receiving information from the from your devices. So <clears throat> every time you push a key or move a slide, you will see how this little square in this part will flash. That means that your devices are sending information and Ableton is receiving correctly. Now we're going to choose which file we want to control or which clips we want to control. So in this case I will choose from my Eclipse folder and drums then electronic these files you just have to drop it now you have choose all the files clips or songs you want to control the next step is to map our controller so we're gonna click in this little button named MIDI and you'll see a lot of stuff turn blue that means that you can control all the all the blue areas so in this case we're gonna control the, the these four clips so you have to select the file and then you have to push a button or a key from your controller you have to do that with each clip Now you're ready to play.